Hi y'all, welcome to this quite in-depth, hopefully, how Tots guide for uh, Jolinton, Hansko, and then we also have Tots Cup and we have a Arujo Moments SBC as well. So basically you get 1250 XP which is quite interesting, I suppose it also depends how it usually works. It. The good thing is Jolinton you can combine with Hansko, you can in turn also combine it with um, Bear Camp or Lampard, depending where you're at with your respective pack. So, fair play to EA actually for kind of sorting that one out. Um, so, it's five assists with a Brazilian player, so that's done in one game. Scored at least two goals using uh, three separate matches, that's straightforward. Uh, scored an assist using mids in two separate matches, nice and straightforward. Assist three goals with a through ball, you can do that in one game. And then win nine score ball matches with three Prem players. Now, that is the part that you've got to kind of zone in is the Prem part, so because with Race to Victory you've got three out of the Visa, now you'll think to yourself, gee how do I combine, and I'll get to that in a wee sec, so it's four or six goals with an Air Divisi player, that's straightforward, so it's three goals using defenders, um, so that's one game as well, for speed and skill, just three straight matches, score three finesse, one game, and then win seven matches with three Air Divisi in nothing too strenuous there. Basically what you want in this part is, depending how you want to go about it, you either go six Dutch players or six English players, depending where you're at with Bergkamp and Lampard respectively. Um, as long as the area, like if the area divisi, if for example, if the area divisi and Prem players were three Dutch from each league, as it were, so you could maybe have like uh, Van de Beek, um, say Chavi Simons and whatnot, so you're literally ticking everything off, you'd be able to get um, Lampard and Bergkamp done, um, depending on how you obviously see fit, as long as I can't check now, which is a bit of a shame, because I've been able to explain it with proper visual, but it's nothing too strenuous, and it's like fair play for actually doing that, and for 25 matches in the Tots Cup is 1250 XP, so I think they put them the XP collectively down because it usually is 300 so they've kind of been a bit naughty with that because it would normally be 300, uh, 300, 600, 9, 12, 15 and then 18 for doing it like this is what I'm like the good thing is you get an error divisi box player pack for completing it um, it's nothing too strenuous it's five matches depending on what division you're in you'll either find it's really easy or really hard um, top phone player pack 284, 285s, 384s and so you're all told getting one, four, six, eight, eight players, right, plus your XP. Um, but yeah, that's that element done. I'll get a food champ from the weekend done over the weekend. Then, obviously, for Arujo, very, very steep in my eyes. 88, 89, just two squads, which is a bit dis disappointing, I feel, simply because all of that game being a bit sluggish there. Uh, premium gold push pack and a rare electron pack. Um, like for me personally, I just feel these aren't justifiable. Like yes, packs are not too bad, but it's what you're having to give up. The, the argument will then be, oh, you'll have like 91 rated pots going in anyway. But yeah, it's hard enough getting an 89 rated squad at half the time anyway. So, like his pace split is quite tragic. 78 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. So it's like you're having to play against the curve already. Like you're literally needing he literally needs a shadow. Like his yes his sprint speed will max out but the acceleration needs to work. Um but like defensively and physically he'll be fine. Um as I say the shadow will just max out nicely. And yeah, it's like for me I'm just not interested. I'm injury prone power header. Like, if it wasn't so expensive, I could probably justify it. Like, this is when, like, if it, like, they're trying to make it like a statement card early. I just feel like, at this stage of the game, there's much cheaper options, there's much better options. And, I'm just not sure about the card whatsoever, but, yeah, that's just me. Um, as I said, folks, let me know, um, if you're going to do, um, a Rujo, any of the players, um, obviously the Tots Cup is just one league with two loans, it's the same one that we had last week during the Tots warm up. Obviously for the store packs that we have, 
we have our um, tots themed ones. We also have tots um, bundles as well. Game will be horribly sluggish depending on what console you're on as well, in terms of what stage we're at with the game. But yeah, you get promo packs. We've got second half small view. I like how it's like oh we we'll make it half a 50k pack but it's half a 50k pack with an extra three players on top so it's like like just give us a 50k pack then that's all you have to do like i wouldn't like it's just people think that's a great deal I'm like not really and then like half and then the 50k pack has um six players on top so it's like oh you're getting 18 so it's like in the middle pack and then a community torch tryout pack is um, contains five rear goal players all guaranteed to be 80 rated or higher with one guaranteed to be rated 85 or higher plus four community torch players pick loans between two players and one at the easy torch player picks between two players all loans are seven loans are for seven games all items are tradable that's 75k no way in earth can i justify that part yet people will still open it like honestly that, yeah is what it is obviously each of us have a different approach to how we feel the game is at and just take it from there but let me know folks if you're going to open any of these store packs um, the bundles like 107k for the full bundle like it's double that if you buy it individually like it's not too bad I won't deny um, it's quite a nice um, setup but if you look at the um, Honestly, joys of the game being sluggish, but basically, when you compare what you get to what there is, it's like I can't believe that they feel like oh, if you buy the individual items, it's 100, 200, 300, 450, 600, 850, 1100, 1450, 1800, 250. Like, basically, you pay double the pack the amount for the bundle. It's like 70k, 105, 130, 155, 170, 195, 205, 215. Yeah, so basically, they're making it sound like, oh, it's half price. It, it's literally, that's all it is. It's like half price. And it's like, to make you feel like you're getting a great deal. Yeah, it's... Because what I find funny is, it's like the home and away kit is 30k or 300 FIFA points. The, yeah. So like they're basically not necessarily charging you half price but it's like just under um but yeah joys of what ea do and all the little um sneaky bit of business from there but let me know as i say if you really buy the bundle and um, what your thoughts on it are so have a good one folks take it all and i will catch you all later